1966, here in Rio Grande City, conditions were really bad. The people were working long hours, very low wages. When I joined the strike, I was 21 years old. We used to work on the fields, though, and they were paying us 25 cents an hour, 30 cents an hour, and, and it wasn't enough for us. We used to work all day, eight hours for 240. We had no bargaining capacity with the farmers because we had the law against us. The law didn't allow us to negotiate with farmers, so farmers took advantage of that. We picketed the fields and they refused to negotiate. So their solution was ignore them, let's go get what we used to call at those time Mexican nationals. They would go to the bridge in Roma and they would bring in bus loads of workers from Mexico and leave us pretty much out in the cold. We had nothing to bargain with. So then uh, some of the locals decided there's a big problem them bringing uh, workers from Mexico through the Roma Bridge. They went to the Roma Bridge. They blockade the bridge. By the time everybody was there on the bridge, there were 14 guys and me and the lady from California. But then they came about 8 o'clock, they came and arrest the guys. So we decided to block the bridge, me and Irene Chandler the one from California. So we blocked the bridge and we were there since eight o'clock until 11. I guess we were laying down right here. It was one on this side and the other one the other side. We were almost blocking the whole bridge. So that was where they came in and arrested us. There were no laws, physical laws that they were charged with. They were just jailed and beaten and mistreated. I know we were going to be arrested, but I was not afraid or nothing to be arrested because we were doing something for us. They were still bringing the nationals and they were still getting all their crops out of here. So the people finally decided we have nothing to lose. We can't make a living. We're being mistreated. We have no sanitation, nothing to lose, not even decent drinking water. So they decided Let's bring it to the national attention. So they, they organized what they had and they took a 400 mile trip from Rio Grande City to San Juan to get the blessings of the church. They went to Corpus and from Corpus they headed for Austin to bring national attention and so that people could see what was happening here in South Texas. Take about two months. It ended in a Labor Day. When we were almost in Austin, a lot of people joined us in the marsh supporting us and there were about 10,000 people at the state capitol when we got there. So it really affected their state of mind knowing that individually I couldn't deal with that farmer he would never listen to me but now that we are a group of people and now that we're attacking the attention of the whole nation now they're having to start and look at us and, and Washington's is starting to pay attention. I believe uh... We win and uh, the people now, they're earning more than we were earning. They have portable toilet, they have cold water with ice and everything on the field. I think it was a pivotal point that brought the people to realize that they are empowered. As a group, they are empowered. They can do more than any individual could have done.